Hello, inflatable fans. I hope you're all well. I'm out today having a little paddle on Pocklington Canal. And while I'm out, it reminded me of a question somebody asked me in a recent video, which is, what do you wear to stay warm for winter kayaking? Which I thought was a really good question and it's not one that I've ever really addressed. So I thought I'd go through, top to bottom, what I actually wear when I'm on the water in winter. Let's start at the top. Yes, silly hat. <laughs> I've been making these for a little while and I tend to wear something that I've made, but obviously you can wear whatever you want, something to keep your head warm and your ears warm. That's that one out of the way. In terms of body, I tend to wear a dry suit. I really do favour dry suits. They are so versatile and give you so many options. They allow you to go wading in places and access places you wouldn't necessarily normally have been able to access without one. And you can do that in total dryness. Now I'm wearing one of the budget ones. The problem with these is they are pricey. This is the Atacama Crew Saver. I've had this for, what will it be, over a year. And yeah, I really rate it. Earlier on this year, I did find a military surplus suit for about 80 quid, which I've also tested. So I've got that one as well. But generally, they're around, their starting price is around 400. I think I paid about 380 for this, 379 thereabouts. I'll put some links, like I always do, in the comment and the pinned comment and in the description. This Atacama dry suit comes with an internal bodysuit, a fleecy lined bodysuit. So I've got that on underneath here. And I've also got another thin layer of clothes on underneath that. So that's all I've got underneath here and I'm warm enough. It's uh, four degrees today. It's not cold cold, but it's, you'd feel it when you're sat on your backside and all you're doing is waving your arms around paddling. You certainly feel cold. Gloves. I really rate Seal Skins gloves. Again, I'll put some links in the description. The great thing about these is totally waterproof. I'll show you in a second. The only time they're not waterproof is if you get water in that end. But if you happen to get splashes or whatever on them, let me show you. So if I put this in the water, nothing, absolutely nothing gets into the glove. Nothing. They are absolutely superb. I've never been able to fault these. As I say, the only time that they fail is, and that's user error, is if you get water into the glove itself. Other than that, absolutely brilliant, love these. And I don't know about you, but I always find gloves sometimes start off cold and then get warmer as you start doing stuff. And these are no different for me. I often start off with my hands feeling a bit cold and then after a while of using them, I don't even realize that my hands have got warm and they've done what they're supposed to do. And then finally, feet. Now today I've actually tried out a new pair of socks and I'm wearing those today. So I've got those on my feet on the first setting underneath my go-to footwear Crocs. If you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that I favor Crocs year round for a multitude of reasons, really. They just dry out quick. Most of them I've had have been very good on slippery surfaces and I find them really hard wearing. A lot harder wearing than trainers. So that's what I wear to keep me warm in winter. The PFD helps as well. It provides another layer of insulation, but that's not the key thing, is it? We, I was asked what I wear to keep warm. That's what I wear. If you found that useful, let me know in the comments. If you've got any top tips and tricks for doing this and keeping warm in winter, by all means, let me know in the comments. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. You know what to do if you like what I'm doing on this channel. You take care of yourself. Cheerio.